Hey everybody, um, I wanted to show you guys how I use the new range mask feature that is with the new Lightroom Classic update in your local adjustments. Uh, this feature is so cool and life-changing, um, particularly for me because I love to incorporate lots of sky into my client sessions. And so this really has helped me in post-process. So I have an image here that I'm going to um, show you guys how I use the range mask feature on. And this is the straight out of camera shot. So I underexposed this image a little bit because I really wanted to retain all of that beautiful color and detail in the sky. But you can see that my subjects are quite shadowed. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just apply, you know, whatever preset I'm going to apply to this image. I also cloned out the sign to the right. Um, but so you could see that um, I didn't really adjust exposure at all. I just applied all my um, color adjustments for this image. But my subjects are even darker now that I applied this preset. So I really want to brighten them up. Now I can go into the radio filter tool and let's say I want to bump exposure around my subject. So we're just going to go ahead and apply a radio filter. I'm going to apply it into the reflection here as well. So just kind of create a radio filter around them and we're going to increase exposure. So now we've got a better exposure on my subjects, but we're creating that halo effect around them. So the light is, the exposure adjustment is also affecting parts of the background. So it looks like there's a light hazy halo around them, which is what we don't want. Now in the old version of Lightroom, there's not really any way to fix that other than brush it off. Um, you can erase it with the brush, but that's time consuming and tedious. Um, and it's not always, doesn't always yield the best results. So now we have the ability with Lightroom Classic to actually mask off a part of our adjustment based on the luminance or a particular color. So if we show the selected mask right now, you can see that the adjustment's being applied um, to a large area here. And so we want to limit this adjustment to really just my main subjects here. So we're going to go into our range mask and we're going to select luminance. We can do color as well, but since there's so many colors in this, that wouldn't be a great option. But there is an option to choose color and then there's a dropper tool here if you wanted to pick on a certain color that you wanted to brighten. Um, but for this particular one, we're going to go into luminance. And then we have some slider options. So we can either adjust if we want this adjustment to be applied to the darker parts of the image or to the lighter parts of the image simply by moving the range slider. So you can see where the mask is kind of coming off and on. So what I want to do is I want to limit this to just the darker parts of the image since the background is so bright. So by bringing down the right side of the range slider, I am essentially masking off of my background. So I'm only going to get a shadow lift right here in the main area. We'll still take that down even further. And now if we unselect the show mask overlay, you can see that we've really brightened up my subjects, but we've taken away that halo effect in the background. So let's take this even one step further. Let's say I want to now enhance the color and the detail in the sky. So we're going to go into our graduated filter and I'm going to create kind of a custom adjustment, but we'll start with a highlights decrease and we're going to bring this graduated filter down. We want to make sure that it's going all the way into the horizon line here. So if I bring that highlight slider down, it really darkens the highlights on my subject here. We also maybe want to bump saturation, kind of bring out some of that beautiful color in the background. Um, but again, just using the graduated filter alone, we have um, the filter coming down into our subjects, which we don't want. So before, in the old version of Lightroom, we could easily brush that off, um, but again, it'd be time consuming. So with the range mask feature, all we have to do is click on luminance. And this time we're going to adjust for the 
darker parts. So we're lifting that adjustment off the darker parts of the image. You see as I bring that left side of the slider up on the range slider, uh, we now no longer see the mask covering my subjects and it's completely in the background. So we can click off that show selected mask overlay and if you toggle right here under your graduated filter, you can kind of see a quick before and after. We've got a lot of color and detail in the sky in the background, um, but it's not as much on my subject. There is a little bit of white area still kind of left here in the mountains, so I might go ahead and just clean up really quick with a brush just in that area lightly. But as you can see, this range mask feature really helps um, to mask off more areas of your image without having to do all that tedious brush work. Now if we turn off the graduated filter and we can see a quick before and after, you can see we've really brought in some color and detail into the background but still have some good exposure on our main subjects as well.